and it was filtered out. If we would select all the objects, for example, accept the tube and evaluate, the objects that were selected were cut along the plane that we created, and then the cup holes modifier closed the gap. Obviously, we could select the plane, rotate on the different angle, then select all the objects and evaluate the same script. And in this case, the existing modifiers were updated to match the new plane orientation and the tube that we didn't affect last time was now affected. A new modifier was added to it. Of course, it would be great if we could animate or move the plane manually and see the cuts update automatically. To achieve this, we could take the existing script and modify it a little bit by using scripted controllers instead of just assigning the transformation to the slice plane. Let's keep the beginning of the code. That means we'll create the modifier if it doesn't exist or take the existing one and assign to the modifiers slice plane a new controller of the class transform script then we'll define a new variable containing a string which makes the controller depending on the plane's name note that we're using single quotes around the name just in case the plane name contains special characters like spaces and dots and so on then we add to the same variable the actual code to calculate the transformation. We take again the plane itself surrounded by single quotes, take its transformation just like before, multiply by the inverse of the object transformation and finally after creating this text we're going to assign to the controller script property the value start in the variable. At this point we should be able to select all the objects in the scene, evaluate the script and now select the plane and start moving it through the scene. Now we have a single plane that defines a slice plane that is universal to all the objects that we processed. We could rotate it We can move it and every object that has the slice modifier applied is going to update instantly. We can also animate the plane over time, place a keyframe, place another keyframe, rotate and play back. Rotations at sub-object level can be seen as vertex transformations, even in the cases when we are dealing with faces, polygons and edges. Let's create a plane 